G'day. We're down at our local electric vehicle charging station to do a follow-up to an earlier video where we tested the Juice Booster 2. In this video, we'll be comparing the Juice Booster with the standard Tesla portable charger, the UMC, that comes with the vehicle, and testing the charging rates of both from a 32 amp three-phase plug. So here's the Tesla UMC that comes with the vehicle. Uh, at the moment I've just got a 10 amp Australian uh, plug on there um, but there's a connector here where you can adapt or we'll change that to different plugs just a quick release uh, me mechanism now I'm not entirely sure what this is I'm presuming it's proprietary but if anyone knows let me know in the comments so plugging a 32 amp three phase in is a two-step process first up we have this adapter which is a five pin euro uh, to the Tesla UMC and uh, we just plug that in first up once I get it the right way around here we go so that just clicks in there and uh, locks in and then we've got our 32 amp three phase plug that you would have seen in a previous video uh, and we've got the um, the Euro 5 pin there on the other end so we can just connect the two so like I said it's a couple of stages there but once you've done that you've got the Tesla UMC to a 32 amp uh, three phase five pin uh, plug so here's our 32 amp three phase outlet so we'll just uh, plug into that um, screw it into secure and turn the power on once we do that we'll see the uh, power light come on the UMC and once we plug uh, the Type 2 into the vehicle we'll then see a sequence of lights on the UMC to show that the car is charging. We jump inside and have a look now. Um, we'll see the uh, charging uh, rate in kilowatts, so 11 kilowatts and 16 amps. So even though that's a 32 amp three phase uh, 11 kilowatts is the maximum that you can get out of the Tesla UMC. So now we'll do the same exercise with the Juice Booster 2. We've got 32 amp 3 phase, plug in and power on. We'll see the Juice Booster 2 indicate uh, 32 amps uh, there with the green light. And uh, once we plug into the vehicle again, we'll see a sequence of lights on the Juice Booster 2 indicating that the car is charging uh, we can see again that the 32 amp is illuminated in green and once we have a look inside the vehicle uh, we can see that difference straight away so we can see 17 kilowatts as a charge rate at 24 amps uh, this is the maximum charge rate for my car so our um, model x uh, 100d has a 17 kilowatt charger in it and that's uh, so that's taking the maximum that the um, that the juice booster is delivering. So here's the comparison between the two charges again, but just to put this into context, so on one of our um, like on a standard road trip for us on a daytime charge, we'll need to put about 70 kilowatts uh, into the car. Um, so the UMC at 11 uh, kilowatts an hour that would be about 6 hours and 22 minutes charging whereas with the Juice Booster 2 at 17 uh, kilowatts an hour it's about 4 hours and 7 minutes and that, that that's about right we normally have a daytime charging stop of about 4 hours so the Juice Booster 2 is saving us about 2 hours and 15 minutes on those daytime stops and that's a charge that lets us really start in the morning do about 300 to 350 kilometers four hours of charging and another 300 to 400 and that'll be our full day's driving so uh, without the juice booster 2 with that sort of difference of two hours and we don't want to drive at night it wouldn't really be possible so the juice booster 2 uh, really can save a lot of time uh, when you're on the road well we hope you found that video useful and thanks very much for watching and supporting this channel um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and uh, if you subscribe already thanks very much and if you haven't yet please click on subscribe and click on the bell to get notifications. Until the next one, safe EV travels.